Are we perfect? Knowing that, can we say that the computer softwares that we create are perfect? Can we let that software decide who must live or who must die? I said that because the technology that gives this autonomy to the software already exists and the US Army is waiting for an approval to use this software in army robots. These robots are used in the battlefields and even in the big cities and they will be able to kill a human being without any external order and of course with no remorse. My name is Felipe and I'm here to convince you that the autonomous robots technology is extremely dangerous and should be banned. My presentation is divided in three main topics. First, I will tell you why do we need robots assistance in battlefield. Then I will explain how robot autonomy works. And finally, I will give you reasons why the autonomous robots technology is so dangerous and need to be banned. So, why do we need robots assistance in battlefield? Actually, the reason is really simple. Robots don't have emotions, which can compromise the army strategies in battlefield. They don't panic, robots don't feel afraid, and robots are always alert. And robots are physically stronger than men. They don't get tired, they are not susceptible to climate changes, and they are more resistant to bullets than humans. And of course, we can't risk our lives, so we use robots instead of humans in dangerous situations like defusing bombs or exploring remote places like caves in Afghanistan. But remember, we are in control. But unfortunately, not for someone. The autonomy robots already exist and it's described by George Bakey, author of Autonomous Robots book as the capacity to operate in real-world environment without any form of external control for extended periods of time. That autonomy works basically based in three steps. First, the robot scans all over the area and collects the information from the environment that is called sensor input. Then comes the perception. That's when the robot will decide which action the situation requires. But pay attention to this. The robot will do everything by himself. And finally, he will respond to the perception. He will shoot kill if necessary. But if something goes wrong, remember from the beginning of the speech, are we able to create something so perfect that the robot won't be able to make a mistake? Maybe killing an innocent child? No. The answer is no, we can't create something like this. So, we are in danger. There is another thing. Even Allied soldiers are safe. Are safe. Because the war field is a very dynamic environment. I will give an example. This is the AK-47. For the US Army, this is the enemy's weapon. The robot will scan the enemy, he will search for this weapon, and if you are using this weapon, he will shoot you. And just thinking, hypothetical situation, you are in a battlefield, and you are out of ammunition. And at the same time you look down and you see your enemy's weapon, the AK-47, fully loaded. What would you do? If you, if you don't swap it, you will be unarmed, and you will be an easy target. But if you swap it, the robot will see you as an enemy, and he will shoot you. You will be dead. 
there is another problem, black market. According to United States Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, or well known by ATF, according to them, in two years between 2008 and 2010, we, they lost almost 62,000 arms to the black market. Just imagine these robots in wrong hands. What would happen? It would create a new era of terrorism. Remember, we create robots to assist us, not to decide for us. I hope I had convinced you that the idea of technology, uh, autonomous robots technology is extremely dangerous and we should ban it. Thank you.